Hey everyone, today I got a very special review for you all today. I'm gonna be reviewing The Withards. And yes, I know I already reviewed this guy, but I'm gonna be reviewing him again for those who haven't seen his own review. And I just thought, hey, why not review them all in one? So, um, these guys were made about a couple weeks ago. Uh, I think they came out very, very nice. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead. We're gonna start with Freddy, then Bonnie, then Chica, then Foxy, then Golden Freddy. And that's the order that we're gonna go in. So well, let's just start with Frederick Fazbear. Here we have Withered Freddy. And this guy was made from a Freddy pattern. Of course, what else would I use? But his colors are a darker brown than Freddy and his secondary color is a beige. Um, I just decided to go with these different colors just so then it would contrast uh, Freddy a little more, the Funko Freddy plush, just so it doesn't look exactly like him. Um, but if you notice, I did the puffed out eyes. Um, these actually were, I think, my first attempt at making puffed out eyes and I think they came out very, very cool. And if you noticed in the last review, he had white pupils, but now I changed it to black with a little white dot in the middle. So yeah, that's the minor, minor change that I added to him. I also added a plastic nose to him because I thought the little uh, felt nose was a little not too good, and I thought I could have done better with the nose, so I just added a little plastic one. He's got all this withering on his leg, arm, uh, his other arm, and his other leg. He's got his two buttons, his bow tie, and his little hat that Freddy always comes with. So yeah, that's Wither Freddy, and there's no real detailing on the back, but I think this guy really looks cool. Um, probably not my favorite Withered, but uh, it's tied with um, a couple of them, so yeah. Now we move on to Wither Bonnie. And here we have Withered Bonnie. And yes, I know I made this guy before and you guys didn't really seem to like it, but I tried to improve on that design and I kind of uh, made the face a little more flat. I think the teeth are way better now. Um, they're like individual teeth, but of course it's a plush. You can't really make him super flat um, headed, kind of like that. I tried, I put some cardboard in there actually, and uh, it just didn't end up working as intended, but I think it actually looks very good, not uh, not bad at all. I actually used Sly's method of uh, cutting off the face. So I actually sewed a whole bonnie head, um, like a normal bonnie head, and then I just cut off all his uh, his facial features, like his face and uh, his muzzle, I just cut that all off to give that withered bonnie look. And yes, um, I did add the little wires and the little dots up here. You can kind of see them, there they are. And uh, his ears are not floppy because I put a little bit of card, uh, I don't know, this weird hard fabric that they, that Funko uses for the Bonnie ears, so I decided to use them here. Um, they make his ears not as floppy as my other Bonnie ears, which I really like. And this guy doesn't have the puffy eyes because of course with the Bonnie doesn't have eyes. Um, and I used the metal fabric um, for his endoskeleton, which I think looks really cool. Uh, the back of his uh, body and head don't really have any detailing, but as you may have noticed, he's missing an arm. Uh, I cut off half the arm right here, just added some wiring, used a, a, a black hand as the little um, emptiness part, I guess. Uh, his secondary color is just a lighter blue, and this guy's a darker blue, and yes, I know you may be saying, he's not blue, but whatever. Uh, his FNAF World model is blue, so stop coming at me. And then we got the metal foot, the metal hand, his red bow tie, his black buttons, and some withering on his legs. But yeah, that is pretty much it for Withered Bonnie. I think he looks a lot better than my old one, personally. Um, but yeah, if you guys like this guy, already leave a like. What have you been doing? Come on, leave a like as soon as you uh, watch the video. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's Withered Bonnie. Now moving on to Withered Chica. And here we have Withered Chica. She is my favorite Withered that I made. I think she came out so cute, so nice. I really, 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 really love her. Um, so let me just tell you how I made her and like all this. So I just use a Jacko Chica pattern um, for her head and her body. I should, no, just her head, sorry. Um, but I uh, just used some yellow and some orange fabric. Did the puffed out eyes. I think a really ni that's a really nice touch. Put this black part for like the emptiness that her eye sockets have or her eye holes. Um, on the beak, just did these two little nostrils right there. Uh, put Added some teeth, some individual little teeth. Uh, the endoskeleton right there. Uh, some more teeth. And then her bottom beak is right there. Uh, and then right here, I just put black felt with some, these wires just across her mouth to give her that open jaw kind of look. And the top of her head is just like uh, this shape, um, 
two of those shapes is glued together, you know, to make it uh, not as flimsy, I guess, uh, so you won't fall down or whatever. Um, and then her eyes are just uh, some hot pink eyes. I know they look a little red on the camera, but uh, let me tell you, they are hot pink. <laughs> so uh, before you come at me, they're hot pink, okay. And then the body, uh, I just used, what did I use? I think I used the Chica body. Yeah, I think I used the Chica body and toy Chica legs. Um, so I just combined those two. And then I got this bib from an actual Chica plush, just dirtied it up a little bit. Uh, her hands are just black right here with some bars, like with a bunny. She's got a bit of withering on both her arms. Uh, exact same thing on the other side. And she's got a little bit of withering on her legs and her little cute feet. I think this one is my favorite by far out of all the withered. She's so nice, I really like her. Um, but yeah, the next one is also, I think, my second favorite, to be honest. Um, moving on to Withered Foxy. And here we have Withered Foxy. He's really, really cool. Um, so I just used a Foxy pattern and I got this nice salmon color for a second color to better match the Funko Foxy plush to the puffed out ones, of course. Did the same style of eyes as Freddy, or his, the updated Freddy. Um, and then I sewed this eye patch out of felt, you know, uh, just kind of glued it on there, used the Foxy nose, gave him some two uh, little teeth, a bit of withering on the eye, his uh, patch uh, strap, going to the halfway of his head, like the Funko plush. And then I added this little bit, I uh, just cut out this part of the pattern and just replaced it with this uh, metal fabric. Uh, the ears have the same uh, hard fabric as Withered Bonnie's ears do. Uh, they use the same metallic fabric as this and all the other Withered's. In fact, they all use the same metal fabric uh, that I got from Joanne's, if you were wondering. The ears um, are really cool. I, oh, I'm sorry about that. I implemented this like sewn in feature kind of, uh, where the inner ear is actually sewn in instead of glued on like um, Withered Bunny, uh, for example. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the head. Just they gave him little tufts uh, of fur up there. His little tufts of fur on the side just pop out really, really nice. And then the body is just actually, it's a Funko body, just uh, you would expect me to use a pig patch. Uh, body pattern, but I wanted to do it a little different. I made his pants a separate piece that's like a little 3D, so it's like not really sewn into him, but they're like actual pants, which I think is really cool. It's a really fun feature, uh, I think, in my opinion. And then his legs are just metallic fabric legs, and I this fabric is weird to sew, so it kind of looks a little weird on his legs, but I think it looks pretty good. I think I pulled it off pretty well. Uh, his hand has the little hook. I did the same style as Green Foxy and Captain Foxy, where it's like half cut uh, and then the hook sewn into there. And then the metallic hand on the other side. And then of course, a bit of withering on his stomach, and neck, and arms. But yeah, that is Withered Foxy. Um, second, My second favorite uh, Withered custom that I made. Uh, I'll be ranking them at the end, so yeah. And moving on to Withered Golden Freddy. And here we have Golden Freddy, and this guy is the was one of the simplest ones, uh, uh, along with Freddy, because um, it's just a Golden Freddy plush rip added with him. And I think I nailed the look of the Golden Freddy plush made by Funko. I think it looks almost exactly like it. I of course did the puffed out eyes, uh, like the Golden Freddy plush. Just added those little white dots in the middle, put the little plastic nose, give him some wires hanging out of his eye, and of course no ear. Put this little circle right here to signify that there's something missing there. His little eyebrows, uh, nice and thick eyebrows, I like him. And his ear, uh, just the normal Freddy ear and the normal Freddy hat that he has on top. Uh, his body, normal Funko body. His secondary color is actually a little brighter, uh, weirdly, than the actual base uh, color. But, you know, I think it looks nice. Uh, he has some withering on his arms and legs, the buttons, and the bow tie. Literally, just, um, where do you go? Literally just the golden version of Wither Freddy, which is just how it is in the game. So these guys look almost uh, exactly like, of course the head shape is gonna be a little different since it's a plush. Every plush has like its unique uh, head shape and like face shape. Um, uh, but sorry, I took him away. But yeah, that's pretty much Withered Golden Freddy. Uh, he would be, I don't know, I think, uh, not my least favorite, but tied with Withered Freddy. So yeah, no. It's time, to, it's time to rank them. So, in last place, in my opinion, is Withered Bonnie. Because I don't think I've nailed the Withered Bonnie uh, plush 
pattern yet. Uh, I think there's still a lot of room for improvement on this guy. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna have to say, I don't think, I think Weather Bonnie is my least favorite one that I made. And, um, but it's still really good. I, I really, really like it. I just, it doesn't compare to the rest of them. In fourth place, we got Withered Golden Freddy. Um, just because he was a lot, uh, he was very simple. Um, it was just more of a, like, um, when I was showing this guy, it was more of like, a, oh, I just gotta fill in the gap, you know? I wasn't really as excited to make him as I was the other ones. In third place, we got Withered Freddy. Uh, Withered Freddy is just, he's okay. He's like right in the middle. He's all right. He's pretty good, uh, pretty good plush. Just nothing too special. And then um, in second place, we got Withered Foxy. And I think this guy is really cool. Him and the next uh, person, you might already guess who it is, uh, are really cool. And yeah, I really love Withered Foxy. I think I really nailed his design and made him look like the Funko uh, Foxy plush. So that's why I really like this guy. And in number one, uh, well, in, in first place, we have Withered Chica. And I love Withered Chica. She's so cool. I think I really nailed her design and uh, translated her uh, in-game design well to plush form. So I think that's really cool. Uh, I think I nailed it. I think I nailed it with most of these guys, uh, I would say. Except for Withered Bonnie, still room for improvement, but I think I did really, really good on all these guys. So uh, tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. Uh, if you guys want to see me do any other uh, characters like this, any reviews that just jumble all the characters together, like maybe we can do a big review for the Phantoms or something like that, uh, that would be cool. So leave your suggestions down in the comment section below. And, um,. These guys will be appearing in a very special uh, video with a very special someone in the near future. So, I'll see you all in the next one, and goodbye.